my name is Rani. I was born into a Christian family and baptised as a baby. My parents were faithful in following God and they brought me and my three sisters up knowing about Jesus. At the age of 16, in keeping with Methodist tradition, I attended a confirmation service where I made my own commitment to follow Jesus, thus confirming the commitment my parents had made on my behalf at my baptism. I believed in Jesus. I chose to follow him and trust in the things that I'd learnt about him. It was all I'd ever known. And not at any point did it cross my mind that God didn't exist or there was any other way. At the age of 26, I met my husband-to-be and we were married the following year. I left my family home in London and moved to Southampton. It was at the Asian church in Southampton that my husband's family went to and which I subsequently joined that I started to notice something that raised questions in my mind. Every month they would have a prayer and praise service during which people were invited to share testimonies. People would come and share of amazing things that God was doing in their lives and how he was speaking to them. It made me question, how come I am not seeing or hearing God do amazing things in my life? I believe this was the beginning of an increasing hunger to see God move in my life and to truly know him. I believed in God, but I didn't know him in the way these people were describing him. It was so personal, whilst the God I knew was probably more more of a concept that I believed in. In time, my husband and I had our children. Almost a year after my daughter was born, I, I went through a particularly low period and I was diagnosed as having late postnatal depression. And whilst I continued to try and pray, it, they just seemed like empty words and it felt like God was not listening. I was very lonely. Where was God? Anyhow, several months later, I attended a ladies gathering, uh, which is organised by our church. Over the lunchtime, I got talking to one of the women and mentioned to her how I was struggling with my prayer time. And she offered to pray for me. And along with two other women, they started to pray for me. Not once did I mention that I, ha I had gone through depression, that I was struggling. No one knew about my situation. And yet, as they prayed, one woman in particular started praying things about me that no one else could have known. She knew how I was feeling. She knew what I was going through and what I was longing for. As they prayed, uh, heat started to radiate off me and the women could feel it. God touched me that day. And I, I experienced a joy that I'd never known before and the depression completely lifted. The hunger and thirst for God continued in my life and I started to read more Christian books and attend Christian conferences. And finally, at one particular conference during the ministry time, I was prayed for and the love of God that I'd always known about in my head, that I'd always read about, it fell from my head to my heart. In that moment, I felt the arms of God around me and I was overwhelmed by the love of God. This is what I'd been hungering and thirsting for. In recent months, I've reflected on how being born into a Christian family is in many ways no different to being born into a Hindu family or a Sikh family or a Muslim family or any other family for that matter. It's quite easy to follow on blindly uh, the things that we've been taught, because that's what you grow up learning. And it's quite easy to just go through the motions of what is expected of that religion. It's all you know. It's all I ever knew. But what I've gone on to learn is that this God is so real and so personal. Jesus isn't just a distant God that I pray to. He is a God who sees me, who knows my struggles and is very much there with me in my times of trial. He is a God who loves me deeply and he wants to have a personal relationship with me. Jesus came and found me even before I understood who he was. And now I cannot imagine my life without him.